Previously on Locker Nuts, I teamed up with my good buddy Manuel to buy a storage locker online. We paid $3,500 because we were both intrigued with how much dust and cobwebs this locker had, as well as the old boxes and trunks. It was a big gamble, but we're excited to see what we find. It turns out the locker had been sitting for at least 15 years and the owners recently passed away. We have already discovered lots of great vintage finds, such as two boxes of Silver Age comics. But in the last episode, things got really interesting when we opened one of the old trunks and found a horde of beautiful Asian artwork and scrolls. We may have hit the jackpot. There are still a lot more boxes to get through, so let's see what else we find. There's a the turtles. That's cool. Hopefully it's older. Dude, it's sealed. That's good. That's really good. 1991. That's that good. some money right there. Man. Yeah, that's good. Oh, some stickers. The lady just told me she was gonna look out for stickers. Yeah, this is meetings. a turtle truck right here. The turtle van. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Okay. Hopefully, there's little figures in here, man. Those are cases, cool. right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if there's any. Look at that. Dang, that's good. This turtle is hot. It is, huh? Yeah. Honestly, though, who's your favorite? Ninja Turtle. I don't know. <laughs> they were a little bit after my time. You know, they came out in like the early 90s. Well, I think they came out the late 80s. But they really got hot in the early 90s. So I, think, oh, I was like 19, 20 years old at that point. Yeah. I was a little old for that. But I had some of the books. I had some of the original books, dude. Yeah. Four thousands of Look at that. That's pretty bad. Yeah, that's cool. It opens up. It's in good condition. It is, huh? Yeah, usually the things are all peeling off and all messed up because they're playing with it on the dirt. Let's see. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right in the camera. Okay. okay. Oh. All right, the year on these matters a lot, huh? Yeah. 86. I think that's these good. The original, huh? That's good. No, 88, my bad. I think it's still good. I think it's 88, too. I think that's still good, though. Look, with all the little things. Oh, the, the weapons. Look at this gun. That's pretty cool, man. Dude, these are like brand new. I know. I've never found anything like this. Tape, there's not even any dust in here. Look, there's more on the bottom, too. That's tight. Oh. Look at that. Let's get that. That's awesome. I think this is 1990. 90. This is 92. This is good, though. Like, these guys, it's some of the... They're unique. They're probably... They didn't make as much, huh? Uh-huh. 1990. That's pretty bad, dude. Oh, dude, this is a great find. That right there is easy couple hundred bucks, maybe a couple hundred bucks. I say a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. That's Especially tight. considering With the case, the too. You know? The case is nice, too. And we have another one right here, look. <laughs> this guy just always feels like he's rolling. I think it's my glasses. I see right. things. That's good. Oh, this little brainy guy. There he is, look at him. 89, I think, Shredder. 91. Mm. That's pretty cool, man. Seriously, man. I think so. I found these a lot of these guys. I see some of the same guys I found in the plumber collector locker that I bought. Mm -hmm. But they were thrashed. Broken, well, these are... scraped up, scuffed, the paint scuffed because they've been playing so hard. These guys look like they're right out of the box. So they just collected them, huh? Yeah, they didn't like, there's no dust in here. Mm -hmm. Michelangelo probably hit his knee, huh? <laughs> That's cool, man. Do you have a favorite? I don't. <laughs> I just said that. I really don't. The vintage uh, pop culture stuff like this. It's hot. Yeah. Because all those millennials out there making those high-tech jobs, big pay, they all want to relive their childhood, yeah. and this is what their childhood was. This could be, how much do you think this is worth? That whole box, it could be 400 bucks. Yeah, I was thinking like three. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I think three to 400 is a safe, safe bet. All right, we got a box of pottery here, and this is uh, potentially a good find. See, there's a signature right there. If anyone knows what that is, let me know. It's interesting. It's, it's nice. Sit up on a bookshelf, it'd be pretty. Ooh, turtle. See how it does? <laughs> That's more interesting to me. Ninja turtle? 
I'll do the butter on the No, no, you do that. It's fine. I'm not. I'm saying uh, that's the kind of stuff I like to find. Yeah. yeah. Comic books and vintage toys. So like, I'm like the low class of the collecting world, you know. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. It is. Huh? Here, it looks brand new. Everything looks in such good condition. I always find it with the stickers all peeling off and you know tore up and scratched off. Oh, 1990. Stolen. Great. Steel. So who are they buying that stuff for? They didn't have kids. I don't know, man. That's interesting, huh? This is really heavy right here. I don't know what that is. Put that one pottery in the album. Was that the only one that was signed? Yeah. Oh, look, Jack. More Ninja Turtles. Oh, look, they got all the weapons and little plastic things. Yeah. Dude. This is just so, what? Oh, here, look, there's the trolley guy. <laughs> Never seen that before. That's yeah, the, we found that box that? earlier. Mm -hmm. This is great. This is, this is like how I found the plumber collector. He'd have bins and boxes full of stuff. But again, they were so thrashed. They're all played with and just messed up. A little hockey. You know, like this is Justin from Pickers Warehouse. He he would geek out over this. Yeah. 1991. Some of these are money, man. Especially the rare ones, huh? Yeah. Ooh, Michael Jordan, that special edition or something? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it must be. Dang. Some trolls. Are trolls still good? Are they still in or no? I heard they are, but... like this we're like what another 100 200 300 bucks yeah. all right we're gonna take a closer look at these turtles at the end of the video so if you guys like that sort of thing make sure you stick around to the end i'm gonna take a closer look at pretty much everything that we found special. certain ones that are worth actually a lot of money huh? Trolls, I think so. yeah, that one might be special or something look at that Right. That garbage there. I want to see this. It says fishing tackle. Fish Ooh. tackle. Oh, look at that. Oh, what? That looks pretty interesting, huh? Yeah, it does. That looks like a. That looks like more like a camera bag than a fishing bag. It does, huh? It's really nice. Can you open it. Sure. It doesn't feel heavy though. Something in there. This is all camera stuff, but not camera. It's not camera. Boxes and microscope. That's neat. Okay. That's getting a little better. One of the easiest for trout or something, huh? Probably. Oh no. Yeah. All these little fittings and stuff. Like an old fishing reel. That's neat. With the box, the box is probably worth more than the reel. Japan. Oh. <laughs> Feels heavy. Whatever this is. Is it one of those things that you pull out to telescope? Or yeah. No. Oh, damn, it's a, a camera thing. Tripod, huh? This is heavy. Old school can. Japan. Oh, 
little lure box. These are sometimes are worth money. Some flies. Mitchell Garcia or Garcia Mitchell. Made in France, huh? That's probably a knife. It's probably decent. Oh, 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 knife. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Good one? Oh, it looks nice. It's got a magnet. Imperial, it is a nice knife. Dude, that's a really nice knife. It looks brand new too. Is it good? It says super. I think Imperial is a decent brand. I just got an Imperial just recently. Luckily they greased it up too, so it's not rusty. Imperial. It says super razor blade knife. Yeah, it does look pretty nice. Good condition, man. You need a knife? No. That's a nice one. That's, a, that's definitely gonna be a keeper for somebody. All right. Here. Look at this, Jack. Look at this. 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 Look Dude, that looks pretty bad. It does. It's, it looks old, whatever it is. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. There's something in it, too. Also, cast iron. Really neat. Oh, well, okay, it's got something right here. Okay. Wait, can you open those? It's meant for Ooh, something, right? Nice backpack. Because these are like pads, maybe for your back. And this goes over your shoulders. That's what it is if it's a freaking old backpack, right? Yeah, it yeah, goes right here. For yeah, for your back, lumbar, Ooh, lumbar, or whatever, right there. Bad. And this is straps for your shoulders. That's heck of cool. That's really nice. That's a unique piece right there. That may be handmade. We'll probably never see one of these again. Mm -mm. Really, man. Wow. That's tight, dude. I've never seen anything like it. Not even close, you know? Me neither. Like, it's military, right? It looks like it. A little more of it? It doesn't yeah. have dates on it, right? Yeah, it's just Tom on it. 1962 for some sort of lodge. Grand Lodge of something of China. Third degree of masonry. This is a mason's club. Freemasons, maybe. Freemason? It says third degree of masonry. Ooh, this is nice. Nice paintbrush. A couple more fans right here. I don't even want to do it. I don't it. see it. This, might not, this may not be military. I don't see no dates on it or nothing. You know, usually they have writing on them? Yeah, like stencils. Like painted on, huh? Look at this. Oh, wow. Letter opener? That's sterling? China. Yeah. It does feel like sterling, man. It's neat. 
Probably. Those are pretty cool. Okay. Okay, this feels heavy. Really? Is this where they would keep the guns? That would be nice. That would be. <coughs> the dust is pretty bad. Oh, snap, this is really heavy. Feels metal. It's top of weights or something. Yeah, or a chain. Oh boy. I hate when they're stuck like that. It's all corroded, huh? Yeah. Yeah, what are we gonna do about that? We got some WD 40. It sometimes works. Eats the corrosion. It's not even budging, though. Wanna try it? These are hard again. Do that too. Yep. Whatever works. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, scuba diving stuff. Mmm. Hmm. Fuck all. It says jet fin, jet fin. Scuba Pro jet fin. I like the shape on this. They're kind of heavy though. I wonder if the new ones are that heavy. That's what this is, huh? A little cr crowbar for underwater right here. Oh, they ain't like that. Ooh, Seahawk. Oh, in that night. Heck yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh huh. That's oh, that was very nice. Stainless steel. I don't think these are worth anything. These weights might be, though. <laughs> That's why it weighs so much. These weights. That's just drop them down, huh? Yeah. Uh, so what do you think? The maybe the knife I could put aside? Is that in here? The knife. Uh, right. Should we put that aside? Yeah, I would. The rest of it. That's what it says, but I never know. Nails and screws. Dang. We were hoping for a change. Quarters, uh, dimes, panties. That's what we heard. Mm. Mm. Wah, wah. Mm. <laughs> Rock. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> there he is right there. We're just saying we gotta watch out for these guys. That's a black widow. Whoops, sorry man. Throw me your truck off. <laughs> <laughs> That was nasty. Uh, I think he's the one making a lot of these webs in here. All right, guys, it's about 5.30 and the facility actually closes at six. We're not gonna finish in half an hour. Not only do we have to finish going through all the boxes, but we also have to figure out how to split everything. It's gonna take some time. I don't wanna be rushed. This has been a great locker, great locker. We spent a little bit more than uh, probably should have, but the, uh, oh, the comics, the comics, the comics. There's lots of great stuff coming out, but the comics. Mm, 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 mm. So uh, I'm just Emmanuel's in there talking to the uh, office because he bought another locker at this facility today as well at the auction. So I'm here at Taco Bell, but I want to show you something real quick. See that right there? It is 100 degrees. It's 100 degrees. Now that, that heat has been taking it out of me today. But look at there's a big old line for Taco Bell. I'm picking something up. I'm gonna go back and meet with Manuel in just a minute, and uh, we'll have some Taco Bell. All right, here we've got Camille tasked with matching up parts, huh? It's going pretty good. Got all these miscellaneous. These were all in a plastic bag. Grace already found most of that. She said this is complete. We have to double check. These aren't complete. Unfortunately, missing a few part or like one part each. But a lot of them are complete. All these ones that, that Camille's put together over here are all complete. Very, very good. Got one guy over here. That's missing a part. We're going to start putting incomplete over there. Uh, but we got all these guys right here still to find parts for. This is kind of cool. These parts right here are all 
um, in these little canisters. So we used a couple of those already to find. There's April. You know who that is? That's the girl. Shredder, easy. All right. And then this, unfortunately, this trolley. Almost everything. All the this is big money part, uh, character right here, but we're missing that little buckle right there. That buckle is missing. Almost everything, but um, it's going pretty good. Mills looking them up on eBay, finding listings that say this right here, complete, because then she knows that all the parts are there. And then we're trying to find all the parts. That isn't complete. That is not complete. That's not? Well, you have more parts than they do, so they're wrong. Yeah. Huh, interesting. I'm not sure if all these go with it. Oh, well, maybe they go to a different one. Yeah, because, like, there's more that have those, too. Like, this has these two. And yeah. And this one has these two. This one doesn't have the blue, and this one doesn't have the orange. Yeah. Huh. All right, keep looking at the completes, and we'll see what the consensus is. Oh, well, this one has... Okay. Sorry. Look. This is, of course, goes with that. This has a yellow filling. And then this red one has a red filling. And oh, it's this, a different character. Yeah, this goes to that one. These are different. That's Rock and Roll Ralph, Raphael. I think we might. And have Rock and Roll Leo, Leonardo. Yeah. That's what we got. Oh, okay, now it's making sense. Is, is this Rock See, it takes a while, but we'll figure it all out. Is it that one? No. All right, guys, we've been working on these turtles. There's so many. It's a it's a pretty amazing collection. It really is because they're clean and complete. I Almost every single figure I found has all the weapons. Not all of them, but almost all of them, the, the vast majority. And there's a whole bunch of extra weapons. So uh, let me show you what we got here. It's pretty cool. All right, first up, we've got this troll doll. All right, pretty cool. Um, with the box, unfortunately, there's one piece missing. Oh, I think I mentioned that earlier, that little buckle. We never found that. That's kind of a neat piece. I think these are a little bit more rare. Definitely didn't see very many on eBay. Over here, we've got this little motorcycle, and I believe that is complete. There was some sort of little rubber band piece that goes on this. So you can, like, pull it back and it launches. I don't know. Most of the listings didn't have that either. It would have been dried up and done by now, or maybe just use a regular one. I don't know. There's this helicopter right here. Very cool piece. And I think we have a complete, right? I just found this piece. That was the last piece I found. I think it's complete. Um, I believe I found one of these before in the plumber collector locker, but it was really beat up. All these items are in super great condition. Look at this. Where's that? That's funny, huh? Neat piece, a lot of fun. Uh, oh, and then also maybe the best part, we have the instructions for that, instructions for that. So cool. Over here we've got the instructions, couple instruction books for this. This little party wagon right here. And we've got these. Stink bombs, huh? All right, that's cool. So I think this is complete as well, this little wagon. This is some sort of uh, party raft or something like that. I haven't taken it out of the bag, but I believe that's complete as well. Over here we've got a, what's this called, a foot ski, I think it's called a foot ski. All right, so, and that I believe is complete. I just found the last missile. All these parts, they weren't that hard to find really. Um, and my girls helped me, both Grace and Camille helped, uh, which made it kind of easier on me. But there's an instruction book for that. Here we've got a bunch of 1990 uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle postcards right that's kind of funny uh these two cases you saw these come out uh these were most a lot of the characters were inside there those are from 1988 i believe and they look like they're in good condition there's a little bit of value here yeah right there 1988 mirage studios pretty cool pretty cool and we got two of those this just shows the type of people they were uh very organized all right they cut the little cards off unfortunately they cut the cards up It'd be better if they kept them in one piece. And by card, what I mean is the backing board that came on each of these figurines. There's the bubble pack, and then there's the card behind it. So they cut this out of each of them um, for each of the characters. And then they glued them on this piece of paper. And actually, it was in a photo album, but I took it out of the photo album. So there's a couple of those. Uh, they keep these, which I thought was also kind of cool. Again, it would have been better if they kept the whole box. But they cut the front and the back of the boxes and then glued them together. Pretty funny. Uh, this piece we never found right here. Some kind of belt with uh, slime bottles. 
and then here's the helicopter. So it adds a little bit of value to each of those vehicles to have that, but not too much. But here is the, uh, the real excitement, I think. I mean, those vehicles are cool, but this table right here, I'm just going to pan through these guys. And you see, I mean, it's taken us hours, literally hours, to match up all of the weapons. Um, there's, a, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. Luckily, it's all color-coded, you know? It does make it easier. eBay makes it a lot easier. Uh, here's a pile of extra stuff right here and a few more cards that weren't uh, glued to anything. All right, here's a couple characters here. I didn't find too much on those guys. No weapons or nothing. Um, Casey Jones. There's the sewer samurai. All right, the really neat pieces. There's a lot of them. I forget how many. I think there's over 30. This has the one card I found, only one card for this guy here. Still makes him more valuable. All right, we'll just scan through these. A lot of really funny characters here. And um, when I, we're looking online, man, most of the things that we find are not complete. Like this, for example, has the baseball guy, the mitt, the bat, and the stand, including the little ball that, you know, practice ball or whatever. Most of the listings are missing something. This dude right here, I think, is missing one shorter sword. There's like three swords or something. And there's a knife or dagger. I think there's one missing there. Um, guys like this, the ball is almost always missing. Over here, the balls are missing, or the net. We got them all, guys. We got them all. They took really good care of their stuff. Most of these weapons were all in a, plastic, a big plastic bag. But there's a few characters. I'd say probably a dozen of these had all the smaller pieces in little film canisters, plastic film canisters. And um, maybe like four or five of them were actually labeled, which made it really easy, a little bit easier. All right, you guys who are into this kind of stuff, you probably recognize these just as sight. But for me, I had to look them up. Okay, just a couple more miscellaneous things. This is just a box of, I don't know, bubble gums, party favors, little, just a little box. It's vintage for sure. Look at this, 1990. That's a 30-year-old little plastic box just for putting your toys and stuff in. Here's a little storybook book. Uh, this I thought was kind of neat. Coloring book, all right? But look at it, it's shrink wrap, brand new. A whole bunch of them right there. Um, yeah, it's kind of neat. And then this right here, which I think is one of the first things that we found. One of the first things is a sewer uh, action kit or something like that. Sewer play set. I don't know what it's called. I think this has some value. Next step is to put this together and see if uh, we got all the pieces. Okay, there's a lot of pieces here. Wow, it is almost overwhelming. Luckily, luckily, oh yeah, and there's all these pieces here too. My goodness. Luckily though, check it out. I found the instructions. So that'll help, hopefully help simplify it. Now I just hope that we have all the pieces. All right, it's coming together. I gotta, I gotta be honest, kids. It is actually kind of fun. I am enjoying myself. This is, uh, yeah, this is bringing out the kid in me. I like it. All right, check this out, guys. Super duper cool. I've got it all complete. And look at this. This part right here is kind of neat because, like, the turtles can be, like, you can clip them on here. They got the hands like this to hold the weapons. You clip them on there. And then this part right here, you turn it. And when you do, and they swing down. And it's, I guess, meant to hold the weight of the turtles. And look at this little funny stuff, the little fence in the background. You got this little, uh, I don't know, uh, elevator right here, see? And this part works perfect. I saw that was like a problem with some of them. Whoops. I just didn't, I didn't push all the pieces, like snap them into place super hard because I'm going to have to take them apart for shipping. Look at all the little details. This right here, like this little fire hydrant. You got a guy down here. He's supposed to be like looking through there. <laughs> so funny um this little part right here which i i'm not even sure where it really goes but a lot of them are missing that i think it's supposed to go here i don't know maybe not What's, i don't know if it's supposed to go there i don't even know what it's for but a lot of the sets are missing that so mine looks to be complete the only part that is missing, there's a little ball that goes right here. It's called the sewer ball. 
it's yellow like this got little spikes on it i'm not sure what it's for this part that's missing so but i still think uh, i'm gonna list this for 150 bucks and see if we can get it it's in really nice shape all the parts are uh working like the elevator nothing's broken like these are often broken the poles or whatnot these rungs uh hopefully they're not broken no that one only has that many rungs so good shape good condition fun little set it pops through here <laughs> you put the turtle down there and he slides out here fun stuff fun stuff fun stuff i like it oops almost forgot we have this this actually i think was one of the first finds it's a turtle communicator we thought it was sealed all right but you see it's not um there's actually two layers of tape on here so it technically was sealed but the second layer of tape made me think mm -mm, this has been open and reclosed it's very light and there's nothing moving around so i very gently peeled that second layer of tape off it was tape on tape so i took the outer tape off and the inner tape was sliced so i think they opened it and then resealed it i don't think the store would have done that but i opened it and it all looks brand new inside brand new and that is very hard to find online i listed this for 130 bucks let's see where we're at right now with that listing all right there it is right there i put this up just a few hours ago and you see 130 dollars there's been 35 views already six watchers on it i'm telling you this something like this brand new and it is brand new even though the box is open it is still brand new um it has never been used I'll sh i'm not going to open the box back up but i'll show you what it looks like look at that it is uh brand new on there and look at this see how it's got the little twist tie right there around it this is the way they packaged it back then and the instructions and everything is still sealed with the tape on the plastic bag pretty nice so i tell you what we did not expect to find like 80s 90s pop culture toys in that locker that was just a dusty old locker yeah the 15 10 20 cent comic books that i would kind of i would definitely hope would be inside and they were but not the teenage mutant ninja turtles but what a find they are in such good condition i mean they, it really looks like they took them out of the pack and like put them away it's not even like they played with them there's no scuff marks i compared them to the vintage gam no uh the plumber collector locker that i bought found tons of mutant ninja turtles as well as gi joe and a whole bunch of other stuff but they were really well played with as most of them are these ones man hardly any signs of use whatsoever so great find and um just to let you know like that table that you saw me lay out all the figurines there's about four i think there's 43 figurines i have those up actually on a youtube auction it's going to be closing on august 1st it's next saturday um and i'm not sure what time it is i think around eight o'clock at night or something something like that but i'll put a link below okay that's august 1st 2020 um if you guys watch this video after that then sorry those have already been sold but if you do watch the video before and you're interested in buying those uh look for that link and head on over to the my ebay auction uh it's going to be pretty interesting right now it's a little over 200 dollars bid on those the other two things so i put up that little communicator and i put it up for 130 the highest that one had sold for recently is 110 and it was brand new in the package and i think the package was sealed i might be wrong but i put mine a little bit higher sold it the next morning i mean at like 4 a.m in the morning gone and then the van i put for 150 i put that one i think of maybe a little bit more aggressively like other ones that sold in that range maybe even a little higher boom that sold like eight or nine in the next morning so two items already sold for pretty good money the third one the sewer the sewer play set I put that for 150 and I'm getting a lot of interest in that I haven't sold it yet it's been a couple days I'm getting a lot of eyes on that and a couple of watchers um, the other thing that I have to list is that helicopter but some of the smaller sets and some of the miscellaneous stuff we're gonna put in our live auction on Monday night all right so I go I hope you guys like that video great stuff coming out of here and I showed you a little bit of the other stuff in Really, one of my favorite finds in the whole locker is this right here. I mean, this thing is is gorgeous. So I did a little bit of research on it because we do have that maker mark right that I showed you. This, I think, is made in Switzerland. It's around, I think it's around World War II era. So that puts it at about, what, 80, almost 80 years old, 75, 80 years old. Pretty dang cool. And what's amazing, really amazing about it is that the leather is very plush and pliable. 
and you would expect something of that age to be brittle and broken and it's not and even ones that I found I found some other found one just like it on worth point I found some other similar stuff for sale on those they said that the leather is like kind of hard and cracks a little bit not like this one I don't know what they did but they kept it in very very good conditions for that type of item uh, it's well preserved it's a great finds <clears throat> still a little bit more stuff coming out of it um, I have at least one more video for you guys and a lot of these items are gonna be in our live auction so make sure you check those out Monday night every Monday night usually I say 6 p.m. but we move that to 5 p.m. Pacific and then we might even have a pop-up auction uh, very soon as well we did this week and we might next week as well so thanks you guys so much for watching next video about soon until then good luck to you god bless you we'll see you next time here on locker nuts